Hello friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. So last day we discussed about what is a joining and we discussed about inner join, left join and right join. In this video, we are going to discuss about another type of joining that is the cross join and advanced join. Okay, so let's first we'll discuss the cross join and then after that we'll discuss about the advanced join. Okay. So if you don't see the previous video, please see the video from the playlist. The links are provided in the description section. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. So the thing is to perform any join operation, basically we need one or more table, right? So cross join is one type of join where it generates the Cartesian product between the first table and the join table, right? So the next thing is when we use cross join. Actually, it generally used to generate a paired combination of each row of both tables, right? So look at this image. If you check, there is the table one and table two. And here you can see every row of first table is connected with the second tables all row. That means if table one has three records and table two has three records, then the resultant records will have three into three. Uh, actually the nine records right so now if you go to my database here you can see there is student table and there is subject table i want to to make a cross join operation with the both table right so if you check there is six row in the student table and six row in the subject table it's not mean that always there should have a six row and always should have a six so means uh, different number of uh, row can have but for my example as there is six row in student table and six row in subject that means when we do the cross join operation basically it will give six into six that is 36 records all right now i already uh, created the student call toner in our previous video and in the uh, web.php that is my routes we added this student controller now let's create a function to display the cross join operation right so simply i uh, just create a function public function let's say my function name is cross join okay so that it will be more understandable and it will be relevant to my tutorial right so let's take a variable suppose a result and i will store all the result into this and finally we'll return the result okay so what is inside the result basically we will use the db operation so simply use db table and here we can use db because we are using the db here so make sure you include a db into your uh, controller then you can access db so my first table is the uh, student table so simply use the students table and now to make a cross join with the student table or you can see the first table the next table will join with a keyword that is cross join right so simply write cross join this is the cross join keyword and i want to join with the table the name of the table is subject okay and let's select some uh, things from the uh, table so simply use these things and just paste it here so we actually doing here the students dot name as a student name and subject dot name as a subject name so i said allies because in every table if you check in subject table you have a name and in student table we have also a name so should not conflict between the names so that the reason i created the allies name for student name and subject name separately so let's call the cross join method so simply just go to the route and create a get link so simply route route get and just write a cross join and actually this is the url so by this url we can get access of this uh, cross join function and this is my controller student controller colon colon class actually this is a scope resolution operator and I have to specify the methods name. So this is my methods name. Okay. And if you just go to this link, you can see 36 records. All right. Why 36? 
because we have 6 into 6 total 36 take out and it actually generates a correlation product right so now if you check here we can see 0 to 35 records so what actually getting we actually getting the alex english michael english lisa english that means english is joined with all the row of the student table again let's math will join with all the row of this table so in this way all the six will join with the six record so if i check these are the six record we join the english and after that the math with the six record and with the history with the six record so in this way actually it will create a correction product right so this is basically the cross join now what is advanced join now advanced join is basically a things we can say the closer function so that we can include other functionality with the command set right so actually this is my command set and we can create a um, closer type functions and we can also uh, write any clause also condition clause we can write so let's see uh, how actually a uh, advanced join works so simply just copy from previous and write here advanced join so this is my function name so i just going to uh, join with the table and simply uh, join with the uh, subject okay so students and subject and now we can add a closure function as a second parameter that is a function sorry function and let's say a argument and i passing the join so that we can access this join from here and inside here i will say the joining condition so what is the joining condition actually the student table id is actually using in subject table is a student underscore id this is actually foreign key of the subject table and actually these are pointing this student tables id so the relation is join arrow on so what is the relation so relation is students dot id students students dot id equal to subject dot student id so simply write subject so let's copy this so that there will have no mistake of spelling right so subject dot student id okay so this is my um, condition to join for a student table and subject table so now just uh, create a route to call this advanced join so i just copy from the previous so that it will take uh, the less time and it will not wasting time so simply write advanced join and let's call this advanced join okay so simply write in this way and just go to this link we can see what is actually happening in advanced join so just go to the browser and paste here okay so here you are getting only these three records or sorry these four records basically these are the joining it works like a inner join that means so if you uh, just uh, see the michael english so if you check english and the student id is five that means it's denoting michael and it's mark math so just go here math and here you can see the mark so it's working as a inner join so if you just uh, want to get the output like a um, lab join simply write in this way so many kinds of join or every kinds of join you can perform here so it will work uh, just like a lab join so i already discussed about what is the lab join right join and inner join it can work and still if you want to uh, add any condition clause so if i want to get only records where the student id is one so how can I do this simply i want to get the result of students where the status is one right so i can say it, the clause so here we can write arrow where and simply write students 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 dot status equal to um just write in this way sorry one okay and now it will get the more filtered result so we are getting this filtered result okay so now uh, just go to the table suppose i don't want to get the relation from the 
subject table so i just go to the john and let's make it status equal to zero right so if i just use this zero that means we are uh, setting the lab table is uh, zero and now just go here so it will not read with the subject table so it's working as null that means it's not getting the id from here right so it is actually the difference between normal join and the advanced join actually we are setting the condition inside this here so now simply if i just make it this same condition into here you will see the different result right so now if i just make it uh, the status always will be one for the overall join so now just see here we are getting currently six records zero to five but we will get the few records that is it actually uh, added this condition on overall joining that means only those records appear which status is one the only three records right so in previous example we just added a clause for the subject table so we will restrict joining where the status is zero for only subject table that's the reason that time we are getting the null right so this is a simple concept and this is the very minor difference between the normal join and the advanced join so we can use any clauses for our requirement and any things we can do using this right so we know about the left join right join inner join so we can perform the advanced join also and we have a cross join concept so let's please check your own system and if you get any confusion or if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about another important joining concept that is the sub query joining so i decided the sub query join will get one single video because this is very good concept and it needs to understand uh, minutely so, right so i will discuss about the sub query join in our next video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye